Before we begin with our next story, let me ask you a question. Where do you think your data lives? All your messages, your videos, your searches, most people think it's somewhere in the cloud. But in reality, it is stored in physical buildings filled with rows and rows of computers. These buildings are called data centers and they're the heart of our digital world. Every time you ask AI a question or stream a video or send a message, these machines do the work. They store, they process, and they move information across the world. But there's a catch. These facilities consume enormous amounts of power. They need millions of liters of water to stay cool. In 2023, they used up up to 1.5% of all global electricity. And the AI boom is making it worse. Training AI systems takes thousands of powerful chips which run non-stop for days. And it will get worse in the years ahead. Look at this, this estimate from Goldman Sachs. It says power demand from AI data centers will shoot up by 2030. It could rise by 165% in the next five years. And where does this power come from? Mostly fossil fuels. So tech companies are scrambling for solutions. Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they're all investing in solar and wind farms to, to power their networks. Some are even exploring small nuclear reactors. But land is limited, water is running out, and the planet can only give so much. So big tech companies are looking up, quite literally. They're looking into space. Instead of building data centers on Earth, they want to build them above it. Google has a plan. It is called Project Sun Catcher. The idea is simple. Send the computers that power AI into orbit. Tiny satellites will carry these computers around the Earth. They'll be connected in a network. They can share data in seconds, and they'll be powered by the sun. At least that's the plan. Because in space, solar panels work all the time. There's no night, no clouds, no weather, just constant sunlight. So that should be enough to run the data centers nonstop. Google is optimistic about the idea. It says solar panels in space can produce more energy, up to eight times more energy than those on Earth. And that could power a new generation of data centers which would float above our planet. Google plans to launch two small test satellites by 2027, the first step towards building a bigger network. And Google is not the only company working on this, on what's called the in-orbit data centers. This market is taking shape. It could be worth $1.77 billion by 2029 and over $39 billion by 2035 which explains why tech giants are moving fast in this space. Elon Musk is betting on Starlink. He says SpaceX will build data hubs using Starlink technology. Plus, a new generation of startups is in the race, a company called StarCloud. It is working with NVIDIA to, to send AI chips into space. Another company is called Lumen Orbit. It is building small computers that can process data directly in orbit. So the promise is huge, clean energy, endless space, and less environmental impact on land and water. But the challenges are just as big. Number one, launching a single rocket releases hundreds of tons of carbon dioxide, so it is an environmental concern. Number two, data satellites face extreme radiation and temperature changes, so fixing broken equipment in space will be extremely difficult. And number three, the growing problem of, sp of space debris. Every new satellite increases the risk of collisions above the Earth. Despite all of this, the momentum is building. Google has tested its AI chip under radiation, and the chip survived. Besides, they believe that space launches will become cheaper in the future. What costs about $1,500 per kilo today could drop to around $200 by 2035, which could make space computing financially viable, and the Earth a little less burdened. So is this the future of artificial intelligence or just another moonshot? Well, whatever it is, it shows how far we are willing to go to power AI. Want the facts? The latest developments. News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.